It is so cold today. It's freezing, y'all. And we are going to some place that's even colder right now. We're going all the way out to the ocean front where it's guaranteed to be even colder than it already is right now. And we got to hurry up. Uh, we've got literally 30 minutes to get out there. It's going to take us, what, 24 minutes to get out there, Cody? Yeah. We got to be there by 11 because Rabbit's room expires at 11 o'clock this morning, and I don't want them kicking him out. I'm going to go ahead and get Rabbit the room for another week until we can figure out exactly what's going to happen with him and hopefully be able to try to get him into a better place some kind of a shelter some kind of a halfway house i'm not exactly sure just yet uh, but we want to get him the room for an additional week and that's what we're getting ready to do so we're going to go pay the room off for rabbit we're going to pick him up as well and then we're going to be meeting up with dave because today dave is actually moving into his place all of the work has been done at his place and it's now time to move in dave's got a u-haul and uh, we're going to help dave do some moving and we've got a lot of things to do today folks it's freezing the heat needs to be blasting there we go and we want to take you guys along with us for all of this. And I hope you guys enjoy the ride. So we just took care of the room for Rabbit right now. He's good for another week. Let's go see him now. Swimming? Uh, it's gonna be a little cold to swim. Oh, it's wet. <laughs> Hello. Man, I'm so glad to see you. I bet you are. You're probably going stir crazy up in here. It's cold out here, man. What's going on, dude? Good. Good. I'm just, man. I'm just going over. Uh, is this the paperwork that they gave you from probation? No, that's it. That's that's mixed down with it. As, you know, um, I'm, I'm what I'm doing basically. I'm I'm going through all the paperwork that I got. Um, I received some paperwork when I was locked up. When right. I was released, and um, it had some information, helpful information, or supposedly yeah. helpful information. So I'm going over. Everything I've been going over it, man, and writing things down that phone numbers and places that may be able to help me out. And I see you've got a list right here of things that you're trying to do, so that's that's good stuff. Yeah. It's good to see that you're taking the initiative that you need to take in an effort to get the ball rolling for yourself. Right. Even more interesting than the stuff that you got written down, I see you got one of your handkerchiefs right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my drawings. Yeah, that's my, my mighty unlucky risk. Yeah. Hey, better luck next season. Yeah. Uh, look, we just took care of the room, so you're good for another week here. That's so that'll take some pressure off of you right there. Yeah, a lot. And man, I, just, I don't know how to thank you guys, man, for so much help, bro. Rabbit, I told you from the very beginning, if you're willing to give yourself a chance, we're going to back that 100%. So this is the very least that we can do in an effort to try to help you stand the best chance that you can out here. Right. We don't have a lot of time though. We gotta we gotta haul ass. Okay. So we need to get you and you need to get the room key because you gotta go reprogram that room key. I got it in my pocket. Awesome. Do you need your wallet? Is that the wallet? Uh, I, got, I, got, I got everything I need. You know what? It's warm in here. It is. And it's freezing outside. I know, man. And you know, um, I walked out this morning at 6.30 because they said, I want to get some coffee, you know. I'm, right. I'm up early every morning. So I go out this morning at 6.30 this morning, man, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Ain't you <seen> yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. It like hit me, hit me like a wall, man. So <clears throat> I go get some coffee, man, and I come back in here. You know, I want a cigarette, right? You know, I, you know, I mean, I smoke cigarettes. So, you know, I want a cigarette. So I open the door back up, man, and get ready to step out and get a cigarette, man. I'm like, oh, man, you know what? This can wait. It definitely can wait. <laughs> so I put that on. So I got that key. I got everything I need. Awesome. Well, we're going to get ready to go see Dave, and we're going to try to get him to help because he's moving today. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm, hey, I agree with you. I'm going to start I need to do something. I, I figured that you wore it, too. Yeah. Man, 
I'll tell you what, man, that's, that's, a, that's a big relief, bro. You know, that's, I don't know how to thank you guys for coming out there. Look, it's, uh, this is what we do, you know, and we want to see you do better than you've done before. With what you shared with us the other day, when you talked about your addiction, when you talked about the very little time that you've ever spent sober, we want to try to give you the most incentive that you possibly could have to want to break those old cycles. I get that. I understand, and you know, at this time right now, I'm, I have, I was, I don't, I have no desire to get out. But we want to make sure that every day you keep that same train of thought. Got old rabbit in the back. Rabbit, anybody ever tell you uh, you about three feet tall, man? Yeah, man, maybe once or twice, man, but I'm really like three feet five. So, you know, can I get that action? <laughs> I might need that in my life one day. <laughs> so we are almost back at my place, which is where Dave's going to be meeting us at with his girlfriend in the U-Haul. We've got Rabbit with us. And Rabbit, what do you think about your homeboy Dave moving out on his own? I think it's awesome, man. Uh, he, you know, he, we talked about a lot of things when you know when we were locked up together, and uh, that's one of the one of the big things that he stressed is is really wanting to have his own place, you know. And at the same time, I fall into that same category because that's one of my really big things that I want is to have my own place as well. Uh, I'm real proud of Dave, man. I think he's doing an awesome job. You know, and even though this is Dave's... Oh, God, what was that? Look at that. Oh, my God. It fell off the back of that truck, folks. Breaking news. This guy right here is almost killing people. I hope you guys could see that. And he's just continuing to ride like he didn't even see that fall off his car. It almost hit another car. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Too windy to be having that stuff on the back of your truck not tied down. Everybody think they got them a landscaping company now. <sighs> Sorry about that. I want to get back to what Rabbit was just saying right there and what I was trying to say. You know, even though this is Dave's moment right here, which you're getting ready to be a big part of because you're going to help us to help move him. You know, let this be a motivating factor for you. You're seeing your homeboy uh, doing it for himself and hopefully soon you'll be able to do it for yourself as well. Yeah, and I, I really hope so, and I, I see that in my future as well. Um, I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to be able to get all you guys to help me out when I move. <laughs> it's just like Dave. Uh, you know, I might be busy on that day, Rabbit, but uh, yeah, you never know. You never know. One thing about it, we want to get to that point as well, and it's a cool experience. Rabbit's only been released now for about a week. He's already shared with us some very intimate and gritty details about his life. And we want to continue to put this guy in positive situations that could only help enhance, you know, his chances of success out here. Forgive me, I was about to be lisping and spitting all over the place saying those things. But uh, how you feeling today, Rabbit? I feel great, um, man. Honestly, is you know, every day's a, a new day. Every day's like a new adventure, man. You know, I, I'm seeing things now, riding around that. I haven't seen, either haven't seen before, or haven't seen in a long, long time. Yeah. So, you know, it's like an, it's like an adventure, man. I'm, you know, I'm like a kid on a field trip or something. And you know what's also interesting about it, or what's also great about it, is you're seeing these things sober as well. I'm seeing them and being able to see them, knowing what they are, where they are, and going to remember that I saw them. That's what's important. You know, every time we see a U-Haul, you know, uh, it's about to be the After Prison Show moving company today. Dave's already got some things in here. He's got a bed, he's got a dolly, he's got a washer and dryer. Oh, it is here. Rabbit, you didn't even have to duck down to get, oh, you did have to duck down. I'm about to say, boy, you are super short. <laughs> Dave's already got a few things in here. We're getting ready to take a ride and go load this sucker up so that Dave and his, uh, his boo thing mm -hmm. can move into their place. Dave, you better watch your homeboy right. he's hugging your girl. <laughs> How's it feel, man? It feels like we might have got too big of a truck because there ain't much more to load in this thing. Well, that's, that's good news because I don't feel like doing a whole heck of a lot of nothing. I'm glad you got two dollies. I told him to put his damn moped in here. 
Yeah, I don't know why you didn't do that. I just didn't want it to end up messing nothing up. The couch we're about to pick up. And... It ain't far from my mom's house. I ain't ride the moped. So how's it feel? It's real. It's, it's definitely real, man. I was a little frustrated earlier. <laughs> I was ready to sling my phone out the window. <laughs> Why? Because I tried to, I'm trying to post a wish list and not leak my mom's address, and everybody's like snapping on me, like get them, get them right, Dave. And I'm going, I'm going nuts. I was, you're probably going to edit this out of the video, but I was doing a Joe. I was like, you know what? Screw this. Delete, delete, delete. <laughs> I like, we, we ain't got to edit that out. I mean, I that's the truth. Like, I was like, screw this. Delete, 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 delete. Delete. Who can do this for me? I don't need to be doing this right now. Oh, now that now you're really trying to be like me, huh? <laughs> hey, Dave. Look, man. Let's Good, get, let, 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 let's stop talking about me for a second. Let's talk about you. Uh, you know, you're probably feeling a lot like the shirt that you're wearing right now, aren't you? <laughs> champion. That's right. I do feel like a champion, man. You are. I've come a long way. Keys to the Lambo, <laughs> as my old lady said. Lambo. Hey, you're good if they pull you over in this U-Haul. Try to pull me over if you want to. Oh. Are we all going to be able to fit up in here? Hell yeah. Hold on to those real quick, Rabbit. Alright, folks. I'm gonna show, thank you, Rabbit. <laughs> I'm going to show you how talented Joe is. We're going to drive to U-Haul and film at the same damn Wrong one. That's not, that's the airbag. Oh, that's the airbag? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been weak. <laughs> what are you cutting my airbag off, Joe? Safety first. <laughs> so why are you cutting it off? Where's the mirror? Where's the... Oh, my God. This thing's got some... It's got well, some... Bro, I got a washer and dryer back there. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> not no more. <laughs> you ever gone a hundred in a U-Haul? Hundo in the U-Haul. Feels like we're going on a family vacation. <laughs> field trip. <laughs> yeah, for, for heaven's said he felt like he was a kid going on a field trip. <laughs> I bet you really do now. You know, it almost feels like you're sitting in the front seat of the uh, the, the prison van. Hey. <laughs> I've never been there. I don't know. I've never been in the front seat. Said, I don't know what that feels like. <laughs> I've never been in the front seat. Oh, boy, this thing's got them air suspension in it. Well, it's moving day here on After Prison Show, and uh, shout out to Dave. This is a big day for Dave, and I'm super proud of you. And I'm you're, proud of you. You're proud of me too, Rabbit? I am. Man, I'll tell you what, man. We talked about you getting your own place, man. You got a, you wanted to have your own stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, man. It, uh, it feels good, man. It does. Joe? You know, you played a real you played a really big part in my life, man. You know that. Uh-huh. And I got my my flying face on right now, Dave. <laughs> he does. Okay. Why you got the camera on my face, Dave? I'm trying to concentrate on the road here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you want to race in your BMW 3, your 3 Series BMW? By the power brake. <laughs> and I'm glad we bought the insurance. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's the U-Haul's transmission. Have you ever seen that video where the dudes take the U-Haul truck and they're doing donuts in it and they were like, we got this thing for $19.99. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is that a real thing? It's a, boy, I mean, they are power breaking that thing and like, and some oil or something. It's nothing but like white smoke coming up from the tires, dude. It was awesome. How you feel, Joe? I feel like I'm driving a boat. Like everybody was just trying to pass these two trucks and none of that was happening. A bag flew off a pickup truck on the way over here. Trying to kill somebody. Oh yeah, this is, yo, this is super narrow. <laughs> Whoa, so buddy. Okay. Don't get next to him, Joe. He's swerving. He might have had a baby. This guy's face right Stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't driven this white knuckle since <laughs> since old Joe was back around. Since I was getting pulled over 10 years ago, getting ready to go to prison. 
This is very close to where I got pulled over to going to prison. So, uh, I'm going to put it out there. You can edit this if you want to, though. So, you remember with that video of me and you tearing out that bathroom, doing that bathroom demo? Yeah, they, they want to, you know, like I said, I did a house for this realtor that is their realtor in that, and they saw the product. And liked the work. Loved it, and said, uh, well, keep going. We want you to do all our stuff. So he called, you know, we met over here. Like, can you come over? I was, I was on my way back from Carolina. I did a job down there, I was on my way back. There was a guy that came in to that job that I knew. Now I knew the owner, the guy who, who got the job. Right. But then there was one of the guys, another one of the older guys, his name was James, and um, he came there. Well, he works for Sean. Okay. So I seen him yesterday and was like, oh crap, you know, blah, blah, blah. I said, whatever happened, how'd that one job turn out? And he said the guy that, got, you, that, that you knew, that I knew, that we went to work for that day, that we went to work for that day, right? Got six thousand dollars in draw money, and took off to Florida. What? what? Never finished the job. Never paid any of his guys. Oh shit. Yeah, because remember he said he was gonna give us two hundred dollars for tearing that bathroom out, and you told me you weren't worried about the money. I could have the money. Right. Well, then I hit him up Friday like he told me. Never heard from him. I'm not chasing nobody down. I let it. I let it go. You know, it's like chalking up to the game. Guy got me for 200 bucks. Right. Gonna find out he got everybody. So he's like down in Florida. You know, it's funny. All right, look. Like I said, when I got, and I don't mean to cut you off, like I always say. But anyways, we're getting ready to pass. I told you when I went to prison, I got pulled over right back there. Right. There's a police precinct right up here. Where is it at? On the right or? It's on the left. This is where they took me to interrogate me. I don't know if, it's gonna be right over here on the left somewhere. You're gonna see a police precinct. This is where they took me to interrogate me. It's actually, I think, right here. Is this it? That's it. Oh yeah. It looks like a police station to me. Yeah. That's where I got interrogated at. I wonder if we can go in there and say hello. Holy crap. How was the wind? Good Lord, Joe was like, yo, this thing is all over the place. <laughs> it's pretty windy. I figured we guys would take longer because it's so windy out. Dude, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> that was the scariest ride of my life. 18 wheelers were getting blown all over the place. We were getting blown all over the place. Going over the high rise bridge, man. That was scary. Walk straight, you're good. Getting ready to get on the road again. This is gonna be eventful. I'm asking that you guys keep me in your prayers, keep us in your prayers. This is not dramatic. This is not me overreacting to the situation. This is not an easy vehicle to drive. The steering in this thing is super, super loose. That bad, Joe? Yeah, it's that bad. Dave, you were on, I don't know if you remember or not, but you were on the ride with me coming down here. I mean, it wasn't exactly delightful. No. <laughs> I was trying to keep a straight face to try and uh, call, keep you calm. Let's do this though. Something police that, That's the number two. There it is. That's where they interrogated me at. Boy, crazy to think of where we are now. Right. Doing good things and helping folks. Because <laughs> back then they wanted me to help the police. <laughs> did you help, Joe? No, I helped. No. Them. I, and, I did, I, and I damn sure didn't help myself neither because I made statements completely against myself. Man, I feel like we've traveled across the country today. A lot of windshield time. <laughs> a lot of windshield time. <laughs> Boy, Rabbit, you got some one-liners, man. He's, he's in his 50s, Joe. We walked into the gas station earlier when I went and bought the phone charger. Yeah, what do you And he was like, uh, what'd you say about the thermostat? Hey, uh, we turned the oh. air on. Oh yeah, he, I bought in an order for some heat. He said it'd be here in June. <laughs> hey, uh, who, who left the AC on? Yeah. 
Y'all ever gone 85 miles an hour in a U-Haul? In the back of one. <laughs> Terry, what's going on, man? Oh, man? Welcome to the party. Yeah, man. Hello. Hello. There's not a lot of stuff in here, thank God. Look different than the last time you were here? Yes. Wow. Nice. Boy, this place looks like a brand new place. He was like, well, I'm here. So, but he, he was like, what am I going to do there? I was yeah. like, Joe, or not Joe. Uh, Terry said he's got that. Where's that other, uh, where's that other transition? There should be another piece of that one. All right. This is the T-Mold. I want to do The other half of that piece. Smells like a brand new place. Terry, you did awesome in here, man. You did the flooring? Yeah. We're gonna have to leave you a Yelp review. What my hey, do it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Dude, you, you freaking you helped me, man. When I hit you up, when you called me this morning, I told you I had a U-Haul, and you were like, who's driving it? I mean, dude, you blessed me this morning. <laughs> Look, man, we would hang around and help you move, but you, you got, got enough help. And I know you got and a you bunch of stuff to do too. We gotta get a video up. And you ain't got much stuff in there. I don't have much stuff. I got a washer and dryer and a couch and a bed. And a, and a TV, which you need to get out the back of the truck. Oh. But real quick, before we wrap this up, I just want to say again, super proud of you, man. This is your moment, man. I'm yeah, feeling good, man. And by the time we see you the next time, you're going to have at least a couch in here and a TV. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be hanging out. Oh, I got my new TV. That's her. That's Laura's old TV. I got my new TV that I got for myself on, um, on Black Friday. Oh, yeah. And my dad bought me this. The wall mount. So I'm going to put it right on the wall right there. Heck yeah. I'm stoked. We're getting out of here. Rabbit, special shout out to you too, brother. It's awesome to see you out so fresh and, you know, helping out as well as much as you can. And let this be a motivational and inspiring moment for you as well because, you know, you can do the same thing that he's done and that a lot of other people who have been a part of this have done as well. And you've done. You didn't have nothing when you came home. I look forward to it. Heck yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, it feels good to be back in this thing. And it feels good to not be behind the wheel. <laughs> Shout out to Cody. Cody's been doing a lot of driving today, too, following us around. As we're leaving, Terry's pulling out some tools and is getting ready to help Dave uh, finish up a little bit of the flooring that needs to be done. Some little gaps, or whatever you call it, expansion joints. I don't know what you actually call it, but Terry's getting ready to help him. He's got Terry and Rabbit over there to help with the moving, and... Again, really proud of Dave. This is a huge moment for him, and I'm honored to be able to share this moment with all of you guys, and I hope you're just as proud of Dave as I am. You know, it was a really big day today. We helped Rabbit out, we helped Dave out, even though we really didn't do too much except help drive the U-Haul, and I might have helped him move like one thing. But all in all, it was a really good day, and uh, we were able to help out in the little ways that we wore.